Hi, this is Mike Carraway with today's Winemaker Minute. Uh, today we're going to talk about how long it might take in the secondary fermentation stage. You know, you've, uh, you've gone through the first seven days in your primary fermenting and, and you've racked it over into your secondary. So I've got right here, this is uh, uh, five gallons of one of my special recipes. I call it Cherry Zen. You all might have uh, seen uh, in some of the emails I sent out. And if, if you haven't gotten that email yet, that, you will get it, and it, it does have the rest of the details of the recipe I use. But anyway, uh, this is a five gallon carboy, it's made out of glass, uh, and I, I actually did the primary fermentation on this about three weeks ago. And uh, at the end of the primary fermentation, I racked it over into the secondary, and then I added some sugar water, so to boost the alcohol content just a little bit. I wanted to get it up to around 15, 16 percent. And if you, I don't, you can't see it very well, but the airlock here is still bubbling. Now it's, it's given off about about a bubble every uh, 20 seconds maybe, which means it's still cooking. It's, it's not done yet. So I will, and, and it's been three weeks in the secondary, so I get a lot of questions. How long do I leave it here? How long do I leave it there? Well, it just depends on, on the wine you're fermenting. So this, this particular uh, wine is a combination of grape, uh, cherry, raisins, blackberries, blueberries, uh, and oak chips, and uh, just, just a lot of little goodies in there. To, uh, the last batch we made was awesome, but you do have to let it sit and age in the bottle for about eight, nine months before it tastes really, really good. Anyway, so the answer to the question is, as long as it takes. How long do I let it sit in the secondary? As long as it takes until, until all the gas has stopped escaping. Now, that's if you want to ferment it until it's dry. If you want a little bit sweeter wine, what you would do is put your stabilizer in and stop the fermentation process once it got to the right level of sweetness for you. So that's today's Winemaker Minute. If you have other questions about home winemaking, hop on over to howtomakewine.net and get into the Home Winemakers Inner Circle Library. This is Mike Carraway. Have a great day and happy winemaking.